One of the fundamental challenges for the film studios and other content owners has been a steady shift in consumer behavior from an ownership model towards a rental model over the past few years. There's a number of subscription services out there, there's a number of cheap rental services out there that allow for consumers to get content and it's actually training consumers that they can get content in a way that they haven't been able to historically at a price point that was significantly, sometimes several hundred percent less than how, what they're used to paying. So although we want to encourage consumers to consume in the digital format and it often brings new consumers that weren't traditionally there, at the same time it's forcing us to um, now deal with how do we get them to pay for this content. One area that's been a complete bright spot for film but could cause some issues going forward is the proliferation of tablets. Tablets have provided a huge boon for content distributors because it's finally a screen that's big enough for most people to watch film or other television type content on. But at the same time, especially with the younger demographics, and we're seeing this in a number of our studies, they're being conditioned to watch content on the tablet as their first screen rather than as their second or third screen. So what is going to be the value of them to going to the theater or watching it even on the television set? To them right now, they don't necessarily all see those benefits and are happy watching content on a tablet or even on a smaller screen because that's how they were born. When you grow up with digital consumption, it's very hard to then move those eyeballs back to traditional consumption. The lines are continuing to blur. So what is truly a film versus what is television content? There's a lot of questions around that right now, especially with a number of com companies that were true technology or true just distribution companies now creating and commissioning content that they're distributing on their own networks. We're talking about original television series, we're talking about original films, and that's changing the entire environment. We also have user-generated content coming in, repurposing of existing content coming in. So there's, um, I think the conversation five years from now will be less about what are the projections for a filmed product versus a television product. It's going to be what is the value of my content and what is the appropriate distribution channel to get it out there while maximizing my revenue. Those that are going to be successful are the ones that are going to be able to figure out the balance of how to produce content at a price that will still be profitable for consumers in the U.S. and globally, and that will allow them to create incremental revenue streams in other media. So again, back to consumer products, TV offshoots, um, the ability to make short um, things like Mobisodes or other online content. Um, it's all about being able to engage with the consumer and there is opportunity and there are a number of companies that are doing quite well in the space and we continue to project to do so going forward. Mm -hmm.